Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm Natasha Martinez. Up next, we catch up with Laura Pieri, one of today's rising pop stars in music. Laura was discovered in New York by Grammy Award-winning producer Corey Rooney. Rooney is best known for working alongside one of the entertainment industry's biggest stars, Jennifer Lopez. No big deal. Well, some industry insiders, including Rooney, are saying that Laura has some of those same qualities that made J-Lo a triple threat star. Next, we're giving you a chance to check her out for yourself right here on American Latino TV. Hi, I'm Laura Pieri and I'm a singer. Who said you're not enough? Who said that you can conquer? You are a warrior. If you need, I will be around, around, around. Music has really always been a part of my life. There was never a moment specifically that I decided I want to get into music. This is what I want to do. It was just really always there. My earliest memory is my mom singing to me. So that's when I really started really feeling the musical influence in my life. And it just never left. Moving here has definitely been a culture shock for me. I didn't think it was going to be that bad because a lot of Brazilian culture is influenced from the American culture. I mainly moved to New York to finish my studies in the US and we had an acquaintance in common that just introduced Corey to me and we really, he understood me musically, he really knew what I wanted to do with my music and we got in the studio and really never left the studio. Describing my style, I feel like I'd have to say that I'm, I'm definitely in the pop right now, but all the genres are really mixing with really globalization. Who really knows what style is what? You have a lot of influences from South America coming in, and I really feel like at the same time that I am pop, I'm definitely bringing in a little bit of like Brazilian ethnic into it. I am on follow I Will Follow You is my first single, and it's really um, a song that I feel like everyone can relate to. It's about that feeling that you get when you start really falling in love with someone and you feel like there's nothing you wouldn't do for them. And so just getting in the studio and recording that song, we just felt like they really needed something to go with it visually. So that's why we felt that had to be the first song and that's why we had to do a music video for it. And then just pulling from Bonnie and Clyde made a lot of sense for what the song is about and the style of it all. Being in the social media era definitely is both a curse and also a blessing. A curse because it's really hard to always keep up with what's happening. I feel like every time professionally I get in the studio and I start working on something, two seconds later it's already considered old music. But it isn't a form of a blessing because there's always new music coming around. So there's always new places to ins get inspired by or to look for for inspiration. YouTube has proven to be, for me, a great source of inspiration. You can just look at different rhythms and I feel like the power of social media really connects everybody the whole time. And so to make music, it really inspires me and it really makes it easier, but it's also really hard to just turn down that world and be present in reality. I Some people say they're bi-coastal. I am bi-country. <laughs> and it's really hard to get people to believe in what you stand for in terms of being from a different place. A lot of people should just be like, yeah, 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 you're Hispanic. Yeah, 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 you speak Spanish. It made me feel like people don't really know much about Brazil. And so I just felt like at home, I represent myself. Here, I have to represent a country. And that's something that's definitely um, intimidating but very motivating as well. 